Good morning, guys. It is graduation day. I graduate in six hours. Can you believe it? Six hours. I'm going to start walking across that stage. I am so excited. I can't believe the day is finally here. It seems very surreal um, and very unreal, actually, but it is here. Can't wait. Six hours? Six hours. Six hours. Oh my gosh. Graduation day. Oh, and don't be alarmed. I know I look a little rough, <laughs> you know, but don't worry about it because I'm going to be fly and cute and slayed and laid for graduation. But I just woke up and I don't care. I don't care. So don't judge. This is the real deal. Okay. This is how I really look in real life. But yes, in six hours, I'll be cute for sure. getting ready I'm gonna have my friend Taylor do my outfit of the day so you guys can see what I'm wearing um, I went back and forth between two different outfits but it's currently in the 50s and it's raining and I don't feel like freezing to death so this is my outfit for graduation drive me to graduation because she's an awesome friend although she almost killed us but we, were, we survived we recovered we're good so this is just my makeup really simple it's 800 degrees in here so I might melt before I get to graduation but it's a good day she was cold I mean in all fairness it is 55 degrees outside so we kind of have to make do with what we have YouTube girl. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. Graduation day. Yay! Master. Yeah. 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 It's like that sound yeah. when you don't know how. Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was like people. Yeah. Yeah. Is my class together? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Platz. Graduated with my master's degree today. What, what? Counseling program oh. in 2014, <laughs> and what a journey it has been up to this point. From countless discussion boards, class presentations, and article summaries, to countless hours of laughter with cohort members Chloe West, Madison Steele, and Elizabeth Schuler, graduate school has shown me that continuing her education was one of the best decisions she has made. Now that this chapter has come to an end, Mia would like to formally thank and acknowledge the special people in her life who have been along this journey with her. To her mom, Mia would like to thank you for the countless meals you prepared for her while she was in class, even if she did not eat them when she came home. <laughs> you have been a wonderful encourager who has kept Mia humble, humble during the dramatic times in her life. <laughs> Your constant words and encouragement throughout this journey have meant more to Mia than you'll ever know. Or know. To Mia's dad, you have supported Mia in countless ways from making sure that she took time to take care of herself to always ensuring that she had everything she ever needed in every capacity. Don't you do that. <laughs> For that, Mia is forever grateful. You encourage Mia to be the best version of herself, even if she is unable to see what you see. To Antoine, you have stuck with Mia since day one, and she could not have asked for a better partner in crime. From your first date, the night Mia interviewed for the program, to you watching her cross the stage earlier today, you have never left Mia's side. Despite her tantrums, Outbursts, <laughs> 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 unnatural stress, and worries, you have encouraged Mia to push past all obstacles and encourage her to take life by the horns. Mia could not have asked for a better partner to stand by her side the way you have during this crazy journey. Lastly, Mia would like to thank the faculty of the Clinical Mental Health Professional Counseling Program. You all have changed her life for the better and have made her time in the program one that she will remember for the rest of her life. Mia would like to give a special shout out to Dr. Stevens, who has, who has not only been a mentor, but a friend. Dr. Stevens has acted like a second mother, who is not afraid to call out Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever necessary. Dr. Stevens, thank you. Oh, come here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you have done for me. You and your babies are officially members of the Sutter's family. <laughs> Mia, we are so happy that you chose to come to our program. 
as you bring a level of warmth and genuineness that is definitely refreshing. When we think of originality, you are not lacking in that area. From day to day, your hair is on point. And your outfits are always on point. Thank you for your dedication as a DA for almost all of us um, and all of your hard work in keeping the Minority Graduate Student Association alive. Since the first time you tried to organize my office to reviewing case notes, you have shown a level of dedication that is truly appreciated. From your stylish fashion sense to your straightforward way of communicating with others, which I appreciate, um, you have been a great addition to our program, and you will be an awesome clinical mental health counselor in the future. Sure. Back to Mia. <laughs> Mia feels extremely blessed to have completed this journey and could not have done it without God and loving family and friends. Congratulations, class of 2017. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> what is this, the day after? <laughs> the morning after. <laughs> the day after yesterday. Wait, no. Turn up, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely much needed. Not this. This. All right, guys, we are in route to go decorate. They got us, me and Taylor, in the back seat, like we four years old, but that's okay. But yeah, time to sit up here on our left. Yeah, give us a booster seat, make it more fun. But we're about to go set up for the for the party. Exciting! Yesterday was really fun. I think we both pretty much tapped out. All of us tapped out around. Definitely midnight. <laughs> Definitely midnight. I think we were delirious by 11. And then we called it a night around midnight. But decoration time. Very fun. Very, very fun.
it's been a long journey for Mia. Mia uh, made up her own mind to go back to grad school. You know, I think she stayed out about two years. And she said she wanted to go back. But we had told her, you know, we're retired and we can't really afford to sit in grad school. So she did 99.8% of this all at So if you would please just bow your head. Father God, we just thank you so much thank for you. this day, Lord. We thank, thank you for you. our daily bread. We thank you for all of your provisions. Yes. Thank you for that traveling grace that you showed us to come here, Lord, and to celebrate with us. It means a lot. Oh yes. And for them to come up and come up or come from the east. Wherever they come from to celebrate with us. So we ask you to please just bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, before we get my prayer was that God kept me here long enough <laughs> to see my baby graduate from high school. Okay. And not only did I see her graduate from high school, I saw her graduate, uh, I think, get her bachelor's degree from college. And yesterday I watched her get her master's. All right. Yes. <laughs> Well, the graduation party was super fun and it was definitely everything I could have 
imagined it would be and everything I dreamt it of being. Right now, we have gotten home not too long ago from the party and the introvert in me needs about a good 45 minutes to an hour to just kind of recharge and just regroup after all of the festivities and fun and conversation. So we're gonna rest for a little bit and then um, I think everybody's gonna probably head over to our house to have part two of the turn up um, and kind of just move the party from the other party to our house. So uh, fingers crossed that I'm able to get a little bit of a break. <laughs> I need a little power nap or something. And then part two of the graduation weekend, I guess part three, two and a half. Maybe we'll um, begin, hopefully, here in an hour or so. So, see you then. Hey guys, and good morning. Today is Sunday, May 7th. I have on my cap and gown again <laughs> not so much my hood I'll have my hood on when I get to church but my church is having a like little honor ceremony to honor all of the graduates that have graduated from you know different universities or different schools within our church so I'm going to go in all of my regalia we have high school students we're gonna have um, masters and doctoral students as well as um, you know undergraduate students who are gonna get honored so I decided to wear my hair up for this one it's just braided like two little braids um, on each, or one little braid on each side going back just because um, you know I just wanted to switch it up and see what an update would look like with my cap and gown and I think it looks really cute so I think I'm gonna be a little bit late sorry guys um, just because Last night was super fun, but I am very, very tired, and, um, you know, I really needed my rest. We had people over till about 1 a.m. this morning, and then I got up around 7-ish, and um, it's just been a long weekend. I've been a wonderful, fun weekend, but just long and kind of tiring, but for all the right reasons. So I'm going to be a little bit late. Hopefully, they charge it to my head, not my heart. But I don't know how much um, footage I'm gonna be able to get just because it is church and you know you don't really want to record in church or anything like that um, but yeah this last weekend has been amazing these last few days have been like a dream they've been surreal and I'm so grateful and thankful that they have come but I'm also very grateful and thankful that they have gone <laughs> too, as far as the days and stuff are concerned but I'm gonna try to come back again before I end this vlog just because um, I just want to wrap up some things and um, you know go into a little bit more detail about what happened on uh, Friday and Saturday so stay tuned Oh, 
Yeah, good boy. Baby, come here. Let's get you in the front, honey. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Let's get you in the back. Good boy, stinky butt. Good boy, stinky butt. Are you back there squeaking? Let me see. You look rough, dude. Lord. Lord, y'all, look at him. So you ready to go home, Pooby? Dude, you look rough like you've been through it, honey. What they put you through, babe? Do it, you're drilling all over me. Let's get you home, honey bun. Let's get you home, Toy. Andrew's thinking you need a bath. What you got doing? Give it here. Give this. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, he's like a little dinosaur. Ready, Twan? Dangerous. Shocking. But he is kind of cute. I'm not seeing that.